and they had this prophet pastor on this prophet pastor on i greet you all in the name of jesus i'm going to make a very short video today to share about to share something about the question i've received that question i've received about the wise women the wise women of the synagogue church of one nation people write to me what happened to the wise women those of you that have not subscribed subscribe to my youtube channel click on that subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe to my youtube channel go to facebook one like on facebook prophet pastor run on facebook those of you that are on facebook click the click the like button click the follow button go to my page prophet pastor run daily prophet pastor run daily click on that page when you click on that page follow me to get the latest information i'm going to give you prophetic direction on what is happening so what is happening with the synagogue church of our nation especially this wise woman i see this wise woman wise woman i know people write what happened to her people say there's war that was fighting they were fighting and i did a video about the wise men why the wise men left do that video but the wise women the only reason that things are very different the wise women now we know of, we usually we see this wise woman yinka you know about the yinka why was woman yinka and we know about this other wise woman and we see them delivering people playing but if some of you don't know there should be many wise women and those of you that want to get this anointed bits get this anointed bits the bible says handkerchief and aprons were taken from the body of paul and when they were placed on the sick the sick became healed I receive orders every time. Let me tell you something. Those are sowing the seed and say, Man of God, I'm sowing my 2020 seed. I want anointed bit. They said, I want anointed bit for 2020 seed. The 2020 means clarity. When you sow your 2020 seed, you begin to see clearly. Your future becomes clear in front of you. If you ask people that have done it, medical doctors, eye specialists, people that study about their eyes will tell you a 2020 vision is a vision of clarity. That's so why I say, I'm the prophet with the eye of a scorpion. I make things clear for you. Your future becomes clear. Your blessing becomes clear. Wherever the devil has hidden anything in your life, you locate that thing and that thing is going to become a blessing to you. That's what I do. Just have this 2020 seed. 2020 seed is what? 2020 run. 220 dollars. 220 pounds. 220 euros. Those of you that are in Europe. 220 pounds. Those of you that are in Britain. 220 dollars. Those of you that are in the US. You can, you can sow your 2020 seed now. When you sow that seed for us to say thank you for that seed we thank you for that seed because we know when you sow that seed you have taken a natural something that's natural and made it spiritual you have lifted your natural resources and made your natural resources spiritual that's what happened when you sow your change when you sow that seed we also give you something we give you a spiritual thing we confirm that your natural thing let me tell you something money is natural the bible says money is the root of, root of all evil it's a natural thing but you can convert that natural thing to become a spiritual thing when you take that your money, you convert that seed, and you say, I'm offering this seed, this 2020 seed. You make it, you lift it to the heavens. That's what the Bible said the priests were supposed to do. When people come with the, the ram to offer, they will lift the ram to heaven, they will offer the ram. And the Bible said their prayers are answered. When their prayers are answered, miracles begin to happen. As so we sow that seed, I will take that seed up the mountain, and I pray for you. And I'll send these beads. These beads are coming from the mountain, and I pray for you. This beads that you see, these are stones that are coming. The stones from the mountain, that I pray. The stones, the eye of the scorpion. I send the stones to you. I teach it to you free of charge. No cost, no extra cost. We pay for the teacher by ourselves. We cover the teacher. Teacher Express. It arrives within three days. Within three days, you get the teacher express. I'm talking about the prophetic. Good morning, church. I can hear you. Good morning, church. Good morning to viewers all around the world. It is a new dawn. All things pass away and all things become new. I welcome you all to the arena of liberty in Jesus' name. Please, you may be seated. What a wonderful privilege it is to be in God's presence. For in His presence, there is fullness of joy. My name is Anu. And I know some of you do see me on that stage. But our God has been so faithful. 
here I am today in your presence telling the sweet story of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I'll tell you something I'm not a I'm not saying I'm not I'm not part of a TB Joshua ministry but I've seen I went there I went to TB Joshua ministry and I saw with my eyes what is happening in that ministry most of the things people are saying they intend about the ministry they don't know the ministry all those people that say they insult other prophets we don't insult other prophets we're not the kind of people that insult other prophets we have seen with their eyes the Chibi Joshua ministry there are many women in that ministry many women walking I went to that ministry I saw my two eyes children will come in the morning to get bread to get food every morning thousands of children that Chibi Joshua is feeding thousands is feeding and women are there serving them. I mean, you see, the, the, the work that's done, maintenance and everything that's done, enhancement of the maintenance and just cleaning, whatever. The women that are supervising all those things are so so young, young women holding holding money, they pay suppliers. You come, you work, they pay you cash, they give an invoice, whatever. You pay you cash, pay you, pay you to clean, to do things to the church, prepare the church. I saw it with my eyes. Nothing that people tell me I was there at the school. Saw the anointing. So when Chibi Joshua raised the wise woman, I knew the wise woman has a good, a good vision from God. Because women need to be empowered, especially in ministry. We see ministry and I see it's only mostly men in ministry. But I think Chibi Joshua is creating a wise woman. That was a wisdom from God. Because there are many women, the women need to be empowered, especially African women. African women. African churches to inspire empower the women. There was a wise woman that was called wise woman. I know people ask why they should go where they fighting. They don't fight. Those women in Jewish church are many women. As a matter of fact, there are two times women than men in Jewish church. Two times women, the population of the church. I was there, I saw it with my own two eyes like this. The women are moving up and are very active, very busy. Young, young people, young, young people. He's, he's, he's empowered young people. You see all those DJ people, those camera people that are take, taking videos. You think those people that are, that are very young people, very young boys doing those things. You will not believe. Young people that are very energetic, they want to serve God, they want to do things for God. I was there, I saw it. They're busy, they're active. We're over in Africa, and you see Africa, somebody's 80 years, she wants to be president at 80. Go to African countries, and I see a man, the man is president of the African country. I check the ages, 90 years, 85 years. And the president come, I can't even walk. The president is shaking, can't even walk. You see an old man, can't even walk, he's in a wheelchair, shaking like this. See, he wants to read a speech to give the young people hope. But he's 80, 85. He said, now he's got a new vision. Check all those countries. But Chibi Joshua empowered women. How many African presidents are women? We created a wise woman, empowered women. When I saw that, I knew that was a revelation from God. She empowered the women in Africa. Africa was already empowered in those days. It's just it colonization that destroyed us. Because the Bible talks about the queen called the Queen of Sheba. That was a queen that was like a queen of all Africa. That queen was a wealthy queen. Went and gave gifts to Solomon. Took things to Africa. Gold, silver. Was Africa. The women empowerment. Start this thing about women empowerment. Women emancipation. It was here in Africa. The queen of Sheba. Now people talk about the queen of the UK. The queen Elizabeth. No, we are the queen of Sheba here in Africa. So where is, where is all those people? Now we see Yinka is healing people. Yinka is anointed woman. Healing, see, see, wise woman, wise woman, and healing people. So what happened when you come to the Chibi Joshua ministry? Let me tell you what happened. You have got options. Chibi Joshua doesn't force you to take a path. I'm not part of his ministry. People that are dead have told me he doesn't select. He doesn't force you to take a path. You need to choose, and sometimes you need to choose with the consent of your family. To so say, do you want to stay and serve God, or do you want to, after serving God, go and live your life, go and do your own thing? You put clearly a path, two paths to follow. Chibi Joshua. That's what happened. That's why I see some people have left. You see the wise men have left. After I come and say, listen, I've saved my own time. I need to go now. It's fine. You can go. Chibusha gives you everything. His blessings are everything. You can go. Most of them. So even the singers. Some Chibusha singers also left. When I quit. He's singing his music. This is the only thing. So that woman, Anu, wise woman, Anu, there's no fighting. She got married. When she got married, she wants to go and raise her family. She cannot have the energy to be staying, do all the things, doing the work in the church, you know. She had to go and raise her family. Chibusha says, go with her blessing. Go give her the blessing. Give her everything. She's not raising her family. So the fact that I don't see her on the screen doesn't mean that her spirit is not worshiping God. So that wise woman, I know. She's still there. 
A spirit is there. She's there in spirit. And many other people. So the third ministry, just like a university, people come in and out, in and out. You see a lot of people come in and out in the ministry. Some parents send their kids there for holidays. Some of you don't know that. I see the prophetic. Parents bring their kids and say, spend the holiday here. Instead of spending the holiday in the house, playing soccer, kicking the ball, why not spend the holiday here, learn spiritual things, learn to pray, learn to learn to fast, learn to read the Bible, learn to, all those kind of things. The Spirit of the Lord is rising. And that's wisdom. So I see people go down online and just criticize Chibi Joshua, criticize him, criticize him. Chibi Joshua is one of the wisest prophets of our generation. Chibi Joshua. Chibi Joshua started saving, keeping records since 1980, 1982. That man was keeping records, pictures, photos. If I ask you, go and ask your parents to show you the photo they took in 1980. Ask your father and your mother, they cannot show you the photos. Chibi Joshua was keep, keeping videos, preserve records. You know how it is to preserve records, video, video records of his work in 1980. How many people had TV in 1980 in Africa? Most African countries did not have a TV, but TV Joshua had video recordings that he had kept in the 1980s, the 1990s. That's why you see now he can show you, he can show you how he started the ministry. He is a white, one of the wisest people. Some of you, if I ask you, show me the photo you took last year, you cannot show you the photo. If I ask you, where is the document that they gave you five years ago, you can know where the document is. But TV Joshua has been preserving records. And even when the ministry was burning down, fire burned the ministry, he preserved the records, the records are still there. Do you know I had to retrieve a video that was taken in 1982 and take that video and convert that video now to digital to put that video on TV? You know how hard it is? Very hard thing. The prophet T.B. Joshua was doing it. He had the wisdom in the 1980s. That must preserve records. And we preserve records in the 1980s. This prophet pastor and write to me at prophetpastor.gmail.com or the wisest prophet. God is doing something. God is going to bless you. God is going to increase you. God is going to, God is going to empower you. Just feel about prayers. We are prophecy. One day, right? I prophesy to the UK, prophesy to the US. I send prophecies to people wherever you are in the world. I'm the only man of God. I can stand here and prophesy all over the world. Mama wrote to me, asked me, he says, Man of God, how come you can prophesy to people you have never met? I said, No, this is the word of God. There's nobody that God doesn't know. Let me tell you, everybody that was born, everybody that is born, and everybody that is going to be born, that person that in the Bible. The Bible has a story. So when I prophesy to you, the word of God already has a story. Your past, your present, your future. You see the Bible. You see the Bible. Write to me. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.